Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Today we're here making it count by making one of my favorites. It's butternut squash, pomegranate, and goat cheese crostini. Yes, and with the sweetness of butternut squash, the tartness of pomegranate, and the tanginess of goat cheese, all these flavors combined, oh, this is gonna be a crowd pleaser. Let's talk about some of the multiple benefits mm -hmm. of this dish before we get started. Beginning with the butternut squash, it is a nutritional powerhouse. It's packed with vitamins A, C, potassium, fiber, and other minerals. I'll say, and also the beta carotene in the squash helps reduce inflammation in the body, which is good for your overall heart health. So enjoy. And butternut squash can be cooked in a variety of ways, such as it can be baked, sauteed, steamed, mm -hmm. even microwave. Moving along to pomegranates. You know, they're rich in antioxidants and also they may have anti-cancer properties. Also, it supports your overall urinary health. Pomegranates are good for your digestive health mm -hmm. because they increase the levels of beneficial gut bacteria. Lastly, we have our goat cheese which has healthy fats, and we all know how much we need healthy fats. So it has probiotics in there, B vitamins, as well as just being an overall good source of calcium and protein. I mean, go for it. And the combination of protein, calcium, and iron may help support bone formation and with the absorption of other minerals. Yes. Let's get started on our butternut squash. We are going to place our cube squash in a single layer on our baking sheet. From there, we are going to drizzle with a little oil and seasonings, but be careful not to overcrowd because we want to ensure even baking. Now, we're going to set our timer for 15 minutes, but technically it's 30 minutes. Why? Because we're going to flip it halfway through. So once you flip them, set it for another 15 minutes and then you are good. Now, once they're roasted, you're of course removed from the oven <laughs> and you'll allow that to cool before you proceed. To soften the goat cheese, because it's typically a crumbly, hard to spread mixture, you're going to put it in the microwave for just about 10 seconds, mm -hmm. and that'll make the mixture creamier and easier to spread. Now let's cut our baguette. We're gonna cut them about half inch thick slices with our serrated knife, of course. We're gonna toast our baguettes. You can toast them in the oven, or we're gonna use a skillet. So we're talking three to five minutes. So each side, make sure it's brown just I'm ready to assemble. <laughs> and you can assemble these with the bread warm or even cool down. We'll start by taking one of the crostinis and do a generous spread of the goat cheese. Mm -hmm. Add a, just a little bit of basil, pomegranate, and the butternut squash. And lastly, drizzle oh, with the balsamic glaze. It's the glaze for me. There you have it, healthy and deliciousness overload. Mm -hmm. With these great choices, oh man, it's gonna be nice at your house, I guarantee it. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, The Berry Girls, for more healthy, flavorful recipes. And when you try these at home, leave us a comment and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out.